Hey, what's good, everybody? My name is Rabbit, and welcome to episode 44 of Let's Play Grandia 2 Anniversary Edition. In our previous episode, we started making our way through the St. High Mountains. We've been in and out of the caverns, picking up shit along the way. And was it just me, or did I momentarily ago trigger one of those big feet? It sounded that way, didn't it? <gasps> Look at this, mo money! And contrary to popular beliefs, more money did not bring us more problems. <gasps> hey, uh, camping again? I'm so excited. I actually was thinking to myself in our last episode when I saw we were going to the St. High Mountains that this would be the perfect opportunity for us to have another camping trip. So I'm glad Ryudo is on the same page as me as he says, all right, we camp here tonight. Perfect, Ryudo. I love camping, you guys. All right, we'll make camp here. All right, well, let's just go around the semicircle here and see what everyone has to say. Ashes, all ashes in my mouth. This, too, is but a step along the path to the source of the foul smell that plagues me. Little Era, I hope she gets better soon. Just what happened in Marumu Village? I wonder if our actions were correct. Oh, I guess we're all feeling a bit of remorse about how everything sort of unfolded. No one could blame Era for what she did. She was just doing what she thought was right. True facts, Ryudo, true facts. The village was most fortunate to have escaped destruction. That is very true, because Celine and her weird-ass posse... Wait, what were they even called? Oh, I can't even remember. They were fucking nuts either way. I think we should be happy that the whole village was not burned down. As a sister of Grannis, I wonder what I really should have done. Oh, so Elena might be having second thoughts. If you guys do recall two videos ago, Celine was sort of talking shit and making it sound like she was going to report to, I, I'm guessing, uh, one of the big bishops or a head deacon or maybe she was talking specifically about the pope himself but i don't think so maybe the equivalent of a monsignor i don't know some of you might not be catholic so you're like rabbit i don't know what the fuck you're talking about but for those of you who are catholic you know what i'm saying i don't know if celine was threatening to tell the pope of this world what elena did kind of like a tattletaling piece of shit or if she was just saying she would report to whomever is in charge for this region i don't know but Selene was talking shit. That's all you need to know. And it looks like it's kind of getting to Elena now. If it weren't for Millennia, we'd still be back there sorting through this mess. Hell, Selene might have put a torch to everything. Oh, so maybe we're getting a soft spot for Millennia now too? Millennia is but a child, yet unacquainted with the world. Have you seen those tits, Merrick? She is not a child. Miss Millennia, still a child? You think so? I think of her as quite an adult. I'm with Roan. Roan's been checking out those tits, too. The more I hear of Millennia, the more my disquiet grows. Who or what is she? Just thinking of her presence inside me makes me ill at ease. Oh, I guess that's about it. Come on, we've yapped enough for tonight. Actually, you know, I feel like we could talk a lot longer. <laughs> There's a lot at stake right now. Elena is technically still possessed with something that we should be potentially aiming to eradicate. I don't know. It's something to keep in mind. And is this the way we're supposed to go? I think it is. So this is where we came from. You guys know it is with me. I just have to orient myself and make sure we're not missing a thing. Okay, we got that already. I was about to say, did they really plop another chest there? What is this? My birthday? We'll go ahead and use this as an opportunity to save. Might as well. Although we're not too far into... Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot about their little spaz attacks. Well, let's just go all out. I guess we don't really need to. And I lied. It looks like we have seen Speedy before because Rome's got... Or have we? I don't know if we have. Well, whatever, we're going to see it now because I'm trying to knock out a couple of spell animations so we can call it good. We don't need to use Resurrect, so I don't really want to. So then we won't. Let's wombo combo one of these giant crabs. 
Oh, yeah, I don't think we've seen that. Hey, that's pretty nice, though. All right, Merig, I think we've got to still see Boom. Oh, yeah, baby, impress me. And Elena, why don't you just attack this guy or get attacked? Oh, this better get them. Oh, that indeed dealt a boom, didn't it? That's pretty nice. I mean, kind of lackluster, but, you know, it's okay. Sometimes you gotta have lackluster spells. Not everything can be amazing, like White Apocalypse. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned it to you guys, but I feel like White Apocalypse is maybe not the best name. I can see someone being triggered by that and being like, White Apocalypse, oh no. What is the equivalent? I can't even remember the term that sometimes used. Wait, white, white something. I don't know, I'm sure it'll come to me. Oh, speaking of white somethings, I was complaining to you guys about monsters, about how fucking cold it's been. Like we'll have a waterfall. Is this where we're supposed to go? There will be, I have a feeling, oh, never mind. I was gonna say, I have a feeling that this is the right direction. Oh my gosh, okay. I need to put my bitching about the weather aside just for a moment so I can pay attention to what we're picking up. Okay, a battle manicure, a silver feather, and a godspeed ring. Battle manicure, silver feather, godspeed ring. Let's see if I can find all of them. Oh, we've already gotten a silver feather before, no big deal. But a battle manicure? And a Godspeed ring. I see the Godspeed ring, so let's look at that first. Plus 15 act. And a battle manicure. I don't see the battle manicure. Am I blind? Don't mind me. I just suck at everything. No, that's a lie. I'm good at some things. But nothing related to video games. Oh. Okay, really? So the only thing... Pretty much that I'd say is valuable to me with my play style would be this, the Godspeed ring. Well, that was kind of a letdown. I feel like most of the chests we typically pick up have nice weapons in them or nice armor. I don't know, that one, take. I could take it or leave it, but okay, I gotta finish what I was saying about the weather. So we've been getting these insane blizzards where it will snow for like three days and it's like negative 10 or 20 degrees Fahrenheit, obviously. But then it'll hit the 60s, like today it was 55. I don't even know what this weather is and why we're having such crazy fluctuations. But because we have been getting these fluctuations, I feel like a lot of people are probably getting sick. I don't have that much to back that up with because, you know, I don't see that many people. Well, that's not tech. Uh, technically, that's not true. I do see a decent amount of people with my work, but I'd say only maybe, maybe out of the 120 people on our collective caseload, maybe 20 to 25 of them have been sick with the flu. So, I mean, 20 to 25 people still sounds like a lot, but you know, out of my sample. It's really not that big of a deal. But either way, I'm going to still blame the weather for why I'm a little bit stuffy. I don't feel bad yet. So hopefully it's just an issue that I've been kind of on the go and not sleeping too much. So I ended up kind of taking a, a week. I don't want to even say it was a hiatus because I gave you guys an announcement a couple days ago that I was taking a mini break to focus on some project stuff at work. But I did have to still regardless of how you want to look at it. Hey, another Ogre Helm, along with other bullshit. And a level from Merrick, hitting level 30. It's still a little bit before the others catch up on that front, but either way, I gave you guys a heads up that I needed to take about seven days off, and, oh, I can jump. And I'm wondering if just from the workload we've been having since everything that unfolded with my boss, if I'm just getting sick from a lack of sleep. I'm thinking that's what's going on anyway. Let's just keep our fingers crossed that it doesn't morph into the flu because that is the last thing that I need right now. Oh, work has been so busy. And not in a bad way at all. 
I genuinely love this job and I believe I shared with you guys who another Yomi's elixir. Can I push this? Yeah, that looked like it was something I was supposed to interact with in the environment here. Good looking out on my end. Got to pat myself on the back for that one. And hey, I'm going to grab this. I will come fuck with those things in just a second. I have a feeling something is over here. At least I'm hoping so. No! No, Ryudo! I don't want us to be done! We stay here tonight, people. Fine, I'll go get some water. A fine idea. I shall accompany you. It will make your burden lighter. No, I'll be able to manage. Then I shall keep you company. Come, let us go. Merig, what? You too. Take care, alright? Why did Merig want to hang out with Roan? Oh, to give these two some time together. This is a lot of camping, I think. And I have to remember to backtrack and see what was below those rocks. Anyway, Ryudo says, we're almost there. If I had known this trip would take so long, I would have had Vic's pet sit sky here. I fear our trip would have been much shorter had you not been with us, Ryudo. It is only because of you that we've come so far. What do you mean it would have been shorter, Elena? Is she saying they would have died? I've learned many things as well. Thank you for what you have done. Well, er, I'm um, not the only one who should be thanked. I um, did some things I normally wouldn't do because of you. But it was worth it. I've never actually enjoyed doing a job before. And I've never seen the little punk actually work before either. <laughs> oh, shut your wormhole, Sky. Shouldn't you be pecking and scratching at the ground anyway? Whatever, Ryudo, you got roasted and your comeback was bullshit. When we come to the cathedral and meet with His Holiness, Pope Zara, do you think he will truly be able to exercise Valmar? That, I don't know. Look, this is a bit off topic, but I've been meaning to ask, why are you so nice? Well, the souls of people are weak, so I must help them. I must bring them the light. If they are not strong, then the Dark One will seize upon their weaknesses as with me. Will His Holiness be able to save me? There is always a way. We'll see him tomorrow. We'll know then. Did you two have time to make out yet? Shut up, Merig. What took you so long? Dinner's ready. The path we followed wrapped upon itself as a many-coiled serpent. Its course at once both circuitous and labyrinthine. Merig, who are you? What are these words? Mr. Merrick is trying to say, whatever are you two talking about? We were lost. Come, let us eat. My claws are sheathed, my belly hollow. Merrick, I like you, but you gotta calm down with. Oh, we're gonna have another chit chat, my favorite. Oh, look at his face, his portrait. It's so cute. My hunger feeds upon itself. I'm sorry, you guys. I obviously cannot maintain my own composure with cute expressions he is so adorable right now my hunger feeds upon itself would that the cheer of the earth were a more palpable feast okay Whew. i'm a little tired mr merrick i am surprised you are more sensitive to others needs than you fear i kind of want these two to get together is that weird i know roan is just a little kid but let's fast forward like 10 years Oh, that'd be so cute. I'm shipping this. I don't care what anybody says. What is with you two? I did not think it would take long to fetch water. Mm-hmm. I think the game is shipping it, too. Just what were you two up to? I see you have found yourselves. My heart is gladdened. What is that? Was that creeper stare? I tried to click again so we could see it. He Merrick is up to some shit, you guys. There are times when it's best to allow the river to run its own course. You will discover the truth of this soon enough. In any event, our path draws near to the cathedral. Mr. Merrick, you really do worry about the strangest things. It would have been fun to watch on the sly. Oh, they were eavesdropping. So we shall finally reach Granis Cathedral. We have come so far. And what do you mean by that? Oh, so he was picking up what Merrick was saying. The cathedral. A place of assembly where where thought rather than substance is brought 
As an offering unto heaven. Interesting. I'm having a hard time reading half of Merrick's lines. What the fuck? If this was a play, I would not audition for his part. I wouldn't remember anything. We are almost to the St. Hine Papal State and to the Granis Cathedral where people gather to say their prayers. I wonder, do prayers said long ago by people you never knew still stay around, even if no one still remembers them? Oh, I like Eleanor's expression too. A thought carries far on the wings of prayer. Do a man's dreams drift silently through the ages? Mm, you dreaming about that poor Ryudo? Even a thought cast aside has the faculty to trouble and sway the mind. There is a danger in this, though the new supplants the old, or supplants. Whatever, Merig. Though the aged pine chokes the sapling of light, in due time the sapling will rise, as it must. On the other hand, there may be people who are still trapped by the old beliefs that they think are so important. Yes. At that, blah, 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 same shit. We'll speed things up a bit tomorrow. Let's get to bed, y'all. Ooh, uh, everybody in one sleeping bag? It's a little frisky. Even for you, Ryudo. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, well, with that out of the way, let's backtrack for a quickie. Haha, <laughs> get your minds out of the gutter. I have no room to talk about minds and gutters, though. I feel as though mine is permanently... Oh, do I really have to push this again? Game. Game. You play too much. But I do not want to overlook anything. Stop it. No, don't touch me. Stop it. Fuck off. Oh, it's boots. Mock boots. I'm glad I came back and didn't pass these up. So they give plus 20 to movement and plus six to defense. Supersonic speed. <laughs> you guys i don't know if you have seen that sonic meme or i don't even know if it's supposed to be a meme but that little stupid drawing of sonic it looks so ridiculous all right if you're not following the sonic the hedgehog twitter the official one you need to it's ridiculous in such a good way but okay <laughs> super sonic speed or i should say sonic for <laughs> guys i have the giggles to an extreme. I don't know what my problem is. But what I think I'm going to do, since these boys have on some heavy shit, I think I'm going to actually give these wing boots to Yudo. Hmm. I like you with your dash shoes, my dear. So I think we'll leave it at that. I think everyone is for the most part where I want them to be. But that's really cool. We got some mock boots. So that's good for Roan. So before we are completely done, I'm gonna quickly kill these assholes. And I say quickly, I'll just keep you along for the ride. Let's see some spells. We'll just do Tremor. And we'll kill the assholes that are up there as well. I wanna take every opportunity to get as many coins as possible. And you know, the XP is nice, although we haven't had too much of a trap of a challenge, almost a challenge for some reason, yet we don't ever want to fall behind on levels because we start skipping fights. I don't know if I've had that happen to me recently, but I know when I was just a kid and starting to play video games, I was pretty terrible about just wanting to focus on the story and blast through everything. I was basically trash at games. Some of you might argue that I'm still trash at games, and my counter argument would be, fuck you. How dare you say that shit to me? Although I can't, you know, completely deny it. <laughs> but whatever. Look at that! That super scenic speed! I wonder if there's a... Seed of life? Seed of life? Really? <gasps> you guys, seed of life. I am happy about this! Another plus 10 to maximum HP! What?! Okay, this is totally worth coming back and farming, but I won't do that because I'm not haxy. So let me quickly cast some lots for this. And the winner of another plus 10 to max HP. This time it's not you, Elena. Sorry about that. It is Merig. And he's got so much HP as it stands, he probably doesn't really need it. But 
you know, that's RNG for you. All right, and I got the shoes. Nothing else is down here. So we should only have one more fight awaiting us. And then we'll be done here and we'll... Can I get the initiative? Oh, yeah, baby. We'll be ready to part ways and call this an episode... Uh, let's snowball fight. And we'll call this an episode outside where we camped out. I have a feeling we're almost done here. So I'll just do White Apocalypse. Because I can. It's overkill. But sometimes you need overkill. You know what I'm saying? Alright, it's definitely overkill. I probably could have auto-attacked the rest of the way. <laughs> so why am I casting this? By the time Elena even... Yeah. This fight is over. Sorry, Elena. I tried. So we got a quake stone and a healing herb. Guys, look at our special coins and our magic coins. I think when we come back together in our next episode, that will be the first thing we tackle. We are going to... Yes, this is the way, I think. Well, we'll find out very shortly, won't we? Okay, yes, this is definitely the way we're supposed to go. I was hoping there'd be a save, and there is. So let's recover. Let us save once more. And then when we resume an episode, that should be 55... We will start off the episode by pumping some coins into people, and then we will just continue our journey. Sorry, Merrick, you're all sparkly right now. We will continue our journey to the cathedral to figure out what we can do for Elena. Hopefully we can help her, but I guess, I don't know, anything can happen. So either way, thanks for sticking it out with me so far, and I'll see you guys in our upcoming episode of Let's Play Grandia 2 Anniversary Edition. I am Rabbit, and I'll see you all soon.